Hello everyone, how are you? Long time no see. I thought I would come on today and show you my second one of a kind clay doll that I've made. She's all painted now and has beautiful soft blonde hair. This is baby Jana. So, um... I got a few comments on my channel uh, over the last few weeks that my 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 dolls were pale, and I I thought that I made it clear in the video that they were um, they weren't painted when you saw them last. So both Neil and Jana are now painted. It was my first time using Ultimate Fusion Air Dry, and I just love the results that I got. I love the little if you can see the peely skin. I love. Just the coloring I got, the veining, her little uh, little forehead stork bite. I love the blue in the corner of the eyes. Her gloss is beautiful. She's got a hemoglobin right on her neck. So she does have a little birthmark, a little hemoglobin, which is like a strawberry or something. It's right there on her neck. She's just... Gorgeous. I love the way I was able to create her nail beds. Her nail beds came out really nice. And I love her textured, peely skin. And, uh, yeah, she's just really cute. Um, she's a one-fourth limb doll, as you can see. And, uh, I had a lot of fun making her. I actually really like the one-fourth limb dolls. She's got her Spoman Sweeties belly button. And, of course, she's got her Ephesians 320 heart that gives all glory to God who worketh within us. So, um, God gives us all talents, and I'm just very blessed and grateful that this is one of mine. I was very intimidated to start. Um, I always felt like a nudge in my heart from God to just to just start and give it a go and I just felt really intimidated to try. I didn't think, I, you know, I never even took art in high school. So I I was just um, doubting myself. A lot of self-doubt, a lot of intimidation. And to my surprise, as I've started, um, I feel equipped. And I don't know how I'm getting the results I'm getting. It's just, it's in me and I'm just grateful. So uh, having a lot of fun with it. A lot of fun. Yeah. Sweet girl. Sweet baby Jana. We're going to dress her today because I want to do um, a photo shoot for Spillman Sweeties on um, Facebook and on Instagram for her. But I need, obviously, to clothe her. So I got two options here that I want to try. Yeah. Yes, sweetie pie. And this is my first time dressing her after painting her. So um, this is my first option. So white looks good on babies. It really brings out their coloring. And it's got a embroidery bunny and squirrel. And then these cute floral pants. Um, if I don't change it on her now, I definitely will be changing her into it. And then I've got this... H&M set with bunnies and chicks on it and I really like how it brings out her blonde hair and I'd pair it with a cardigan um I don't know which one I want to do I just keep uh visioning her in this uh yellow one so that's what I'm gonna go with I think I don't got too much time today but I will be eventually putting her in both outfits yeah clay uh treat it like porcelain you know you don't want to be clacking the pieces together too hard or anything like that um sorry for my squeaky chair it is so squeaky I wonder if there's something I could do to make it not so squeaky. Maybe like WD-40 or... I don't know. It's an old chair. So I don't know why I've got glass beads. Where are they coming from? I do feel a little bit of them though. 
and just making sure because when I put her together the first I had to lay her here for a few days because I noticed that she wasn't quite cured the way I wanted her to be um, she needed to cure just a little longer because this room gets a little cold and humid so I wanted to make sure so I've waited a few days said a prayer over it and waited definitely a few days to start that anyway I think she's gonna she just she makes me think of that song the joy of the Lord is my strength the joy of the Lord is my strength the joy of the Lord is my strength the joy of the Lord is my strength. Yeah, she makes me think of that song. She's so cute. She's just so precious. Such a precious baby. It's just... It's an incredible feeling to just make my own doll. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just... It's the best feeling. Anyway, this cardigan has some staining on it from, you know those sachets that are at like Crackle Barrel and stuff? Well, I had them in my clothing bins. And they stained some pieces of clothing. So be careful if you are storing your clothing with sachets. I love like the baby and the honey scented sachets. I don't like my clothes to smell like that. And unfortunately, it caused staining on some of my pieces of clothing. So you really want to watch that. Anyway, I'm going to pick her up to put the other arm in her sleeve off camera. I'd rather be off camera and more gentle in my arms than on camera. And, you know, I'm just, I'm nervous. Because... All this paint work, I just want to make sure I'm doing it correctly. Okay. That looks beautiful, Miss Jana girl. Oh, and your hair got all wild. Her hair is just glued on. And I was going to order care. I, when I was sculpting her little smile, I definitely felt like she was a little blondie. And, um... But I was going to have to order hair, right? Well, when I was going through my stuff, I had this little baggie and a tote. And I looked in there, and there was a little bag of this little soft, soft blonde hair. Like, it was just placed there, just for her. And it suits her so perfectly. And I was even able to do... I didn't know that this... It, her hair would do that, but it did, and I'm so glad because she looks so cute with just a little ponytail right there. Oh, and I love the ears and the hair uh, going around the ears here. That looks so cute. She's just so precious. She's just my sweet baby, and I can't wait to photograph her, and uh, I feel emotional when I see my work all come together like this, because if you don't know, when you sculpt, it just starts off as a aluminum foil. and You gotta work it and everything. And I know with Jana, I sculpted her during a snowstorm and um, my hands were really dry and the foil cut them all up. So, you know, it just, just to start off with a little ball of foil and then be able to, do this it's just emotional to see it all get dressed and come together and it just feels very uh um so rewarding to my soul that uh releasing to see uh something that uh a dream that the lord gave me a vision in my head and to see it all come together it's just really rewarding and feel so blessed to be able to do that. And I just love the way she turned out. And I love that she can 
pop her little hand up here and yeah she's just so cute she's just so cute oh i hope you enjoyed seeing her today i also went to a woman's retreat that's why i wasn't here for dolly sunday school and everything i went to a christian's woman's retreat i learned a lot god revealed a lot to me on that retreat and I'll let you know because he revealed to me something about this big debate, too, in the uh, community. Um, and I can't wait to share that with you. And I want to, uh, maybe on Dolly Sunday School or maybe in a few other videos, it will be in the title. Because I want to talk about that because it's important that I address something, a mistake that I've made Um so I want to do that in another video. But while I was at this retreat, there was different vendors there, women supporting women, um, different women, you know, uh, with their books that they've done or custom jewelry they make. Well, one of the ladies there does children's books. She doesn't write them, but she uh, runs an online children's book um, store. And she had a bunch there for sale. And... Um, when I was at the nursing home the last time, I realized that the residents, when they would hold the dolls for cuddle therapy, they really wanted to read to them. They would find any little bit of paper or something to read to them. So I got a children's book. This was the only one at the table. And it's like, it says, don't tickle the elephant. And it's a touch and feel book, right? So it's a touch and feel book. One thing that drew me to it was that the words are nice and big so that the elderly can read them. It's a touch and feel, so it has that interactive aspect. But it also turns on, and all the animals, when you go to touch them, to feel them, they make noise. So that's really, I think this is going to be a real big hit at the nursing home when we take it this week. I like to go weekly. Um... They've asked me to come weekly, so um, it's really cool that I got this book for them. And another neat thing about it is that elephants are associated with memory, right? And I primarily take the dolls to the memory care unit. Now, when I take them, I'm not saying that I'm leaving my dolls there. No, I take them weekly for cuddle therapy. Um, just a way to share my collection and, uh, just, I really love it. And, um, I primarily go to the memory care unit cause those are the ones that are, uh, benefiting it the most, but I recently started going down all the halls and they all love it because they know that they're not real, but they, they love that. They love to be able to cuddle a baby and see the art in our dolls and everything. They really love that. Um, but with the memory care unit, these are people, um, you know, that are prisoners of their mind. They really don't, some of them don't remember their family. They don't remember their name. But when they hold these babies, they start to remember when their babies were little. Or they might think that this is their baby. It takes them back to those memories and they light up, they come to life. Um, they People that can't remember, you know, their names will sing hymns over these dolls. That's so powerful. That is such, God is definitely working through that. Um, it is so cool to be able to witness. Um, I There was this really cute lady that came around the corner and she just lit up and said, the grandkids came. You know, she thought her grandbabies all came over. And so it's just, it's, if, if you, if it's something that you feel called to do, I definitely encourage you to reach out to your local nursing homes and act, ask for the activity director, explain that you collect realistic dolls and that you would like to bring them in and, uh, see if it's something that the residents would enjoy. And, it is, it has become my favorite day of the week <laughs> and I just, I love it. So I hope that maybe 
it inspires somebody else to try it as well because it is it's it's a blessing it's a blessing to go and they're so gentle with the babies that was one thing i worried about i brought some of my uh non-expensive dolls at first and uh just to see like how gentle they would be and everything and they are extremely gentle with the babies um because they believe that it is a real baby so you know there's no i mean when i went to go turn one of the doll's heads so that it was looking at the resident i mean she just about uh chewed me out for that because how i shouldn't be touching that baby's neck like that <laughs> so they are so gentle i've even brought one of my silicones in and yeah a lot of times they nap with the babies. Like it's like a cute weighted blanket. <laughs> anyway, I just hope that um, you all are having a wonderful week. I haven't been on. I've been. I'm still unpacking from my trip, and just yeah, that's just what I'm doing. I'm busy, so I come on when I can come on, and I hope to come on for Dolly Sunday School this Sunday. Talk a little bit about what I learned at this woman's retreat. So if you're interested, uh, that's I'll talk a little bit about that on Sunday. All right. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. If you've gotten this far, please give this video a thumbs up. I would like more thumbs ups, more comments. I love replying to your comments, to your positive and kind comments. I'd love to respond back to you and uh, see your lovely comments. And I thank you so much for your kindness and uh, for watching. And God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.